Alrighty guys, so it is moving day. Not for me, but for these guys! So I convinced this one to move his uh, Power Rangers. Let's take a look. Oh my god, it looks so clean! I have room for more Power Rangers. No! Welcome to Halloween! This year, Jimmy and I are obviously staying in for Halloween, so we decided to do a fun little trick-or-treating with each other in our apartment. Um, okay, now go get ready. I ate all the candy already in the house. We're not supposed to tell them that! <laughs> I got locked away into the bedroom while Jimmy is getting his trick-or-treating ready for me. Oh wait, I have to get a bag first. This will be my little bag for the night. Okay, ready? Trick or treat! <laughs> Woo! -hoo. A spooky customer! What? A spooky customer! <gasps> Why is it so dark in here? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, and what are you supposed to oh, Trick or treat! Ah, you're the queen bee! You're so creepy, uh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> You're so creepy. <laughs> I don't like this voice. Just give me my candy. All right, now uh, pick what you want. Your options are ramen, a freezer burn taquito. Oh my god, that taquito! Why did you put that in Three there? Three plastic wrap <laughs> Some pop tart oh, bites. Oh, I forgot we had those. Those are not good. Or a Kit Kat bar. Um, I'll just take a frozen taquito, sir. Thank you. Okay, goodbye. Have a good one. See you next year. We're never coming back to this house. Hey, this is what I'm having for brunch. Definitely overcooked the sweet potatoes, and by that I mean burned. Currently in bed reviewing lecture slides. Yeah, so my perio test is tomorrow. I actually really like perio. I think it went pretty well. I didn't think it was too hard. And we got udon for lunch. I am super happy and now I'm sleepy. Honestly, this is the best feeling in the world. Hey guys, okay, so Jimmy and I just got back from H Mart. Very fun, very exciting new things. So I decided I would film a haul. First up, we got these cacao choco pies. This ramen, Jimmy and I saw someone say on TikTok that it looked good, so we got this. Some um, anoki mushrooms. We got some gochujang. This is literally so random. Um, I've been looking for this Bragg's nutritional yeast everywhere because I wanted to make a vegan mac and cheese. Bunch of frozen udon. Udon is my favorite noodle of all time. Got some frozen assorted fish ball. Got some some shiitake mushrooms, got some Chinese eggplant. I already dug into this. This was one of my favorite snacks growing up. Um, my dad got this a lot. It's five spice tofu. It's literally so good. I think it's actually like not that bad for you too. This for kaki, pad thai sauce. This is a new type of soy sauce that Jimmy picked out. I'm excited for these bad boys. We got these Korean um, mozzarella cheese and potato crusted hot dogs. These things are like all the rage. I've seen them everywhere, so. I got some tofu because I wanted to make some miso soup. I got kelp because I wanted to make some miso soup. I got miso paste because I wanted to make some miso soup. And last but not least, just some hoisin sauce because we were low on that. Honestly, having blonde hair is just so crazy to me now. Like, I feel like a different person. Also, I haven't told my parents yet, so shh, no one tell them. I have no idea how they're gonna react. My parents are usually very, like, nice, like, do whatever makes you happy type people, but they're also Asian parents, so, like, I have no idea. They might disown me. Who knows? I'm so happy with it, though. I really like my hairdresser. Um, basically, I asked for a blonde balayage, which is blonde and brunette. The other day I was FaceTiming my dad and I could tell that he could kind of tell, but like I chickened out and I was too scared to tell them because I could tell that he was like, when he was looking at the camera, he was adjusting his glasses and he was like, like trying to see if his eyes were correct. So then like when he started doing that, I started moving the camera down. Anyways, I'm here with you guys today to share you my morning of an exam routine so that I get good grades. So I usually hate these sort of like routine things because in my mind, I'm just like, yeah, okay, like who actually follows a routine? I know it's really common for a lot of YouTubers, but it is like four big requirements that I like to do the morning of an exam. Okay, number 
one, I try to time waking up so that way I have enough time so that I can review everything that I need, but I don't like to wake up too early because then otherwise I notice I'll be so burnt out by the time it's time to take a test. So for example, if I have a test at noon, I'm not gonna wake up at like five or 6 a.m. unless like I really have to, to review because otherwise I know I'm just gonna be way too tired to function at 12. Instead I try to wake up about like eight o'clock and then I really get down to studying around like 9 a.m. That's another thing, the night before the exam, I kind of mentally plan out how the morning of the exam is gonna go so that way I know, okay, like I did XYZ lectures, but tomorrow morning I still have to go through this lecture and this lecture. Also ensures that I get enough sleep because honestly a good like 60 to 70 to 80 percent of doing well on an exam is just making good decisions and when you're tired you just can't make good decisions <laughs> number two it's really important that you take care of yourself like the morning of the exam so that way like i said you don't get burnt out while you're taking it there's nothing worse than feeling like you could have done better on an exam if only you like felt better so by taking care of myself i mean that a i try to eat a good breakfast at least so that way i'm not hungry or i also don't want to be too sluggish so nothing too big and another thing is that i make sure to take a break right before the exam so that way i'm not all like super stressed out and like strung out and everything as i'm taking it like i want to be in a calm mental space when i start the exam number three i really like to blast music or watch some funny videos because i noticed that the act of blasting music slash like laughing along to funny videos it really like lifts your mood and you can like actually like feel the endorphins I feel like sometimes and I swear it just makes you like feel more alive and like remember that like this exam is just an exam at the end of the day I know those of you guys out there that are like oh but I want to like specialize I want to do X Y and Z like this exam means so much trust me this one exam is not gonna be the reason why you can or can't achieve your goal everything is figure outable if you have to retake an exam, you can retake it. If you have to remediate a class, you can remediate it. Nothing is ever the end of the world. Number one thing that helps me the most is number four, which is making a cheat sheet right before the exam. The act of making this cheat sheet helps out so much because it helps me organize things into categories and it kind of provides like a visual way for me to remember everything. Now, I'm not writing down all the details to everything. I'm instead making lists of things that are similar, things that are easily confused, things that I think are testable questions. So I decided it'd be fun to show you my cheat sheet for the exam I took today. Yes, I finally finished my oral pathology exam. Um, it was my final exam, so now I'm done with oral path, yay. So this is the lovely and messy cheat sheet that I made for the exam right before. And basically what I did was I made columns of lists. I have a list for most. Basically for this exam, we had to know a lot of facts like this is the most common this type of cyst this is the most common that type of cyst also on this list i made a column that says weird histopath because sometimes the teachers give us weird histopath i don't know another thing that i made lists for was progression so if one disease turned into something else i made a list with arrows it's almost like a flow chart looking thing of all the ways that things could progress so that is usually how the morning of my exams go again this isn't like science to a t i'm not scheduling like okay i'm gonna take a break at like 9 30 whatever i'm just like going with the flow as long as i'm able to make my cheat sheet eat my breakfast have a little endorphin session with some music and some funny videos and got enough sleep then i know that it's probably going to be a good exam oh also my number one tip if i'm ever feeling nervous i actually do this for all my exams ever since i took the dat um and my board exams for pharmacy i always do this i swear this is just like such a helpful thing i do something called the superman pose so basically what you do is <laughs> you sit in your chair and like as i'm clicking into exam soft like start exam I put my arms behind my back and pretend like they're like a cape basically. That's like why it's called Superman. And the act of... <sighs> of course Jimmy's sock is in the frame. Act of like bringing back your arms and bringing your chest up. This is supposed to like scientifically help boost your confidence somehow. I think it also gives you endorphins. Um, but it just makes me feel more confident and just reminds me like, look, I got it. And I also remind myself, the key to doing well on exam is not knowing every single answer. I don't want anyone to ever think that people do well on exams because they know everything. You don't have to know everything in order to do well. You know why? Exam soft can't tell whether or not you guessed or not on a question. What matters is just that you ended up picking the right one. So you just have to be 
good at educated guessing, honestly. Like, there have been a lot of exams where I've scored like 102, 100s, not because, I, and I didn't walk into the exams expecting to get such high grades. I didn't think that I knew everything, but I knew that I could figure it out once I got into the exam from process of elimination, critical thinking, that kind of stuff. So if you feel like you didn't review enough before ex the exam, don't let it get to you. When you're in the exam, don't let yourself panic. Don't beat yourself up just calmly take the exam and give yourself a chance because you never know you might end up doing a lot better than you expected let me go show you guys my hair care product Ugh, i hate this lighting it makes me look so orange i swear my hair isn't that orange in real life people okay so disregard how gross this bottle looks this is the shampoo that i use so basically what i do is i wash my hair every other day slash every two days or so two times a week i use my blue shampoo which i'm going to show you guys but when i'm not using my blue shampoo i use this shampoo it's just like a plain moisturizing shampoo and then every time that i wash my hair regardless if it's blue shampoo or the other moisturizing trust me shampoo i always use this conditioner which is just the same okay now the blue shampoo that I use is this Matrix Total Results Brass Off Blue Shampoo. Disclaimer, I think this has some sulfates in it and that's not the best because it dries out your hair. Sulfates are basically what make things bubbly like shampoo, but I only use this two times a week so I don't think it's like the worst thing ever. Sorry if my hairdresser is watching this. Um, yeah. And last but not least, this is my favorite thing. This is my leave-in conditioner that I use every time I wash my hair regardless of which shampoo I use. Um, so as you can see, I both condition my hair in the shower and I use leave-in. Okay, this is the Bergatti Keratin and Argan Oil Leave-In Conditioner. Okie dokie, anyways, that's all that I have for you guys today. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog and I'll see you guys next time.